We are going to be building inside the Corsair Carbide Series 88R. I've always wanted to build in this case, and I'm excited to build in it now. I've got all the side panels still removed, all the front panels removed, make this a little bit easier. I've also left the drive cage out. That way, when installing the 240 millimeter radiator at the front, it will be a little bit easier. So we will go ahead and move forward to installing the motherboard. None of the screws are labeled in this case, in, in that packaging, so I'll say that that makes it a little bit more difficult. However, the ones you're looking for are going to be the... done some pre-measuring. The only way this is going to be able to work and actually keep everything nice and sweetly installed is going to do a push set up through the radiator. Just because the radiator tube is not quite long enough to reach in a pull. I'd rather do a pull. Uh, personally, I prefer a little bit of a pull. Obviously, there's no real difference in performance. So we're going to go ahead and do a push in this case just to give the radiator a little bit more slack in the tubing.
Alright, go ahead and get the monitor turned on. It's technically a 720p TV, but that's okay. Alright. And here she goes, the Shibu. Fans are going to be a little bit loud. I don't like how loud they are. It kind of sounds like a truck engine, but it's a little bit, you know, cheaper technology. So you get. Hey, we got a boot! 120 gig, 73, channel 1. Look at that. Should take us into the BIOS menu. There it is. We ain't got nothing else. There's nothing going to boot on that drive. It is empty, but she works. We did a build. Let's go ahead and cut to the B-roll. Well, there you have it. It's the Corsair Carbide Series 88R. It was a really fun build. I'm glad I finally got to do something in it. I am really impressed with the build quality of this machine. Uh, it's a little flimsy, but again, for $50, $55, you get a lot out of it. You've got the ability, and there is plenty of room up here for another uh, 240 millimeter, so you could easily do maybe a custom loop if you were to remove this drive cage and mount the pump there, I think you might be able to do a custom little modding, you'd be able to do it. I'd say there's a lot of ventilation, and I would imagine that it stays quite cool. Uh, noise, it's, I, it doesn't have much sound dampening, but for 50 to $55, what does? I love this case. I'm really impressed. I'm glad that I have it. And were I ever to do a, a budget build or a giveaway or anything like that, I'd probably use this case. This case is pretty cool and I'm pretty happy with the results that I've gotten from it. If you have any questions about building in it, whether or not you could do this, that, or the other, please comment below. I will answer as quickly as possible. I just have to be able to take it apart and get into it for you. Go ahead and get subscribed, give us a like and comment below. Check out our Patreon link in the description where you can access exclusive content like behind the scenes photos and videos, as well as you can get a chance to control content here on the channel. I hope everything goes great for you this week, and we'll see you again soon.